Hello. Um. <coughs> well, that happened. Okay. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you <coughs> how to um how to change sounds on your iPhone, iPod, iPad. It it works. Um. Now I'm using iOS eight. Um. You need to be jailbroken, and you don't need you you need one specific uh thing to jailbreak or thing that come that you can get. It's free in the city uh thing, <laughs> and so I'm just gonna prove to you that it works. You can change um most sounds that come with the thing. So you can change um, uh, <clears throat> ringtones. You can change some other certain things. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, I set mine to anticipate because I don't really care about the anticipate tone. And anticipate is my old ringtone, or is my old. So. Just showing you, it does work. That's my uh, ringtone. It's my old intro, if you don't know that. Um, I changed keys, um, which is my ringtone, is my text tone, to... Okay. That's what I... That's what happens every time I get a text. Um, I was a little bit creative with these, okay? Um, don't question me. Um... I changed a few others. I'm gonna plug it in and show you the sound that it makes. That's what happens instead of the normal, like, I think it's a ding or something. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm about to play the sound that I have for when somebody ends a call with me. It says makes this sound. Bye, have a beautiful time. Okay, so um uh, you're gonna wanna find out uh the file name of the sound that you wanna change. <clears throat> now first of all I'm already in this folder but I'm gonna show you the directory to get there. So you're just gonna go Okay so you're in the slash uh you're in the main directory. You go into system, library, and then you go into audio, UI sounds. And then these are all the sounds that I know how to get to. I want to change the talk. That's the sound it makes when you're typing. Um, you just need to name the file that I'm going to show you how to make talk dot calf so i'm going to be changing this uh thing it says invitation vc which is voice call invitation accepted so that means when somebody picks up a facetime call it makes this sound and i'm gonna hope you heard okay yeah so So that's really um, all you need. You just need to know the name of that file, and you're ready to go. Now, to access the file, that how to access files in general, what you're going to want to do is go into Cydia, um, and you're going to search up. Now, I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to go into the one free version that I have. Um, there are paid versions you can get. Better. Um, but I have a free version called a uh, free file manager called Filza. Spelled like so. And you just go into that, uh, save it. I don't think you have to restart the springboard, but you might um and you just uh save that on
on to your device and there you go you can you can now uh, go into it you can change files now I'm gonna explain why I can't use certain other free ones all the free things I know except for Filza you can access the files but you can't change them so you can't rename them and you can't like move them around which you're gonna need to be able to do to you know do this so um yeah so let's get into the stuff you need to do on the computer okay so you found your clip now there yeah so it doesn't matter what the video is that goes with the clip because you're only doing a sound remember that and um it doesn't matter how long it is you can I mean, it's a good idea to make a sh to make it a short clip, um, just because obviously, if you have an entire song every time you get a text, that could get annoying. <laughs> and um, so like, I'm not doing this whole six second thing. I'm just gonna pick a little clip from it. I already found my thing, uh, my video that I'm gonna take the sound from. And I'll just play it once, and then I'll show you what to do once you have your thing, your clip. Make him feel good. Hello? Hello? Okay, so, obviously, I'm, um, if you have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> um, I'm basically just doing a, um, uh, I'm doing something for when somebody picks up the call, which I think I just actually said in the last thing, but whatever. So, um, so yeah, once you have this, uh, you can copy it, and it automatically pastes into this YouTube downloader. The download to this and this will, are both in the description. <laughs> Um, and just, just so you know, and you, you do need, now for this YouTube downloader, I'm just using it, but you can use any YouTube downloader, works just the same, so you're just gonna download it as mp3, um, so it's, it's saved, check mark, um, so yeah, for this, for this downloader, it automatically pastes in the link, which is really helpful. So, you're gonna open up, um, music. Um, and then you're going to go into whatever, well, you can go into whatever folder you have for this YouTube downloader. And I have this is the clip that I want to put in. Now, you're just gonna put move that over into audacity and you're going to edit uh, edit it in audacity to whatever you want i'm not going to show you how to use audacity i'm just going to pause this video and um t like resume when i'm done okay so I got my clip done. Now to save it, you're going to want to follow these directions because that's what these are for. Directions are for, you know. So you're going to have to save it as a CAF file, CAF. <clears throat> now none of these are that type of file. So you're going to go click other uncompressed files on this when you're you hit export audio. In this little <coughs> box, you do hit other uncompressed files. You can keep it, um, now, remember earlier I showed you the name of the file? I would do, I would make it that name right now, just because it's a lot easier than going back and, uh, figuring it out later. It's just easier to just, you know. So you're gonna go... 
VC. Now you're just gonna name it whatever it is. It says your file that you want to change it to is, but mine is this. So you type that in the name. Put dot calf at the end. C A F. And you save. You can ignore this because it really doesn't change anything at all. Like anything it it does nothing for you so just you would have to ignore it i guess and now you pretty much have that done now there are a few different ways you can go around uh doing the next thing now i think it's easier to just email it to yourself you're just going to go into your email um send an email to yourself by sending you yourself uh or yeah, send yourself the file I just created, or that you just created rather. And if you go over here, it will say calf file right there. Um, you're just gonna email it to yourself, and I will show you what to do next. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm in the email. And I'm um, I'm in my email with the audio. <laughs> sample audio, simple enough. So what you're gonna want to do is just um click on this file or tap on this file, and it should. I don't. Yeah. So it says open in Filza. You you hold down tap, and then one of the options that comes up is open in Filza. Um. <coughs> And it brings you to the folder. It's highlighted in yellow here. So that that's simple enough. So um what you want to do is hold that down. So now you have this selected. So now you're just gonna hit copy. And then you're gonna go to that folder I showed you earlier, which is uh no, sorry. System library audio UI sounds and then you're just gonna um you're gonna delete the old one so you're just gonna delete it and there is a trash like folder for um so if you ever want the old one back it's fine you can get that so now I'm just gonna um paste so you select this little clipboard at the bottom left and you do that and I paste and now it's pretty much there, so, um, I don't really know how to prove that it works, um, I don't have somebody calling me right now, but, um, if I do, uh, um, I'll get together with somebody, um, and try calling them just to prove that it works, and I'll, I guess it'll also prove the ended thing, so... Yeah, that's really all you have to do. It should work from then on. <laughs> and I just want you to know that in these other folders, modern and new, there's also some more um, <clears throat> extra things, uh, extra sounds that are ringtones. And then this one is kind of a mix of ringtones and a few other things. Um, I just want you to, you know, know that. So... You can pretty much change any sound that's in this folder. Now, some, a couple of them I couldn't find in here, so you might have to do something, uh, something different, and uh, or you might just have to not do anything at all. <laughs> uh, you might just have to like change change a different ringtone or whatever. Um, I mean, what's the point in changing more than one ringtone? So my plan is. My, my, uh, I guess my goal is by the end of this year, I want to at least change a bunch more of these sounds. So if you guys ever have, um, uh, some ideas for me for what I should do, um, just put them in the comments or just like send me a private message on YouTube. I, I, I want to know, I want some ideas. So, um, yeah, 
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, do subscribe if you've not done so already, and goodbye.